เวลคัมทูวัดหลวงพระสดธรรมกายารามดำเนินสะดวกดิสตริกราชบุรีปรอวินซ์ before we practice meditation let me talk to you briefly on why and how meditation is practicing <coughs> uh, first of all Please understand that Lord Buddha taught us to do good, to avoid bad conduct, and to purify one's mind in order to lead good life, to have uh, peacefully happy, and. To be away from problems and sufferings, in order to purify one's mind, Lord Buddha taught two level of meditation based on acceptance of. Precepts of moralities. The first level, namely, samatha pavana, or tranquility, in order to remove hindrance, the method of tranquility. Or concentration of mind aim at attainment, a high degree of concentration of mind, so that the high quality of mind in that level can help to remove five hindrances. The five hindrances that one should Get rid of are sloth, or torpor, or sleepiness. Secondly, skeptical doubt or uncertainty. Uncertainty. Number three, ill will. Number four, agitation or restlessness of mind. Number five, sensual desire. Pleasures, or attachment, lust on worldly objects. For example, form, sound, smell, taste, and touch contact. If any of these hindrances be in anyone's mind, that person cannot develop the right wisdom. Or, like lay people, cannot solve problems, analyze problem correctly or validly. Therefore, in order to obtain right wisdom, one should purify one's mind by. Concentration of mind, in order to develop the high quality of mind, to get rid of these hindrances. The high quality of mind, when the mind components be perfectly concentrated, are. Thought conception. Secondly, discursive thinking. Thirdly, rapture. Fourthly, joy or happiness. Fifth, tranquility of mind, or one pointedness of mind. These five high quality of mind, when the mind components. Perfectly concentrated, 
can help to get rid of all of those hindrances. And that level of tranquility, namely absorption, first absorption. When one develops the higher and higher absorption, the mind be purer and purer from hindrance. At that state of mind, one can contemplate physical body, feelings, mental functions, and tamma in order to obtain the right wisdom. This is the second state of meditation, namely vipassana or insight. Lord Buddha taught 40 methods of concentration of mind. For example, 10 recollections, 10 gasin sphere or external devices, 10 symmetry impurities, 4 immaterial absorption, 4 sublime or divine abode. One reflection on the loathsomeness of food, and another one is analysis of the four elements. All of these 40 methods of concentration of mind, one can select to practice according to uh, what they feel comfortable for them. But from my long experience in meditation, I found that the method of concentration of mind taught by Luang Pho Wat Pak Nam, Pra Mong Khon Thep Muni Sot Jan Tasaro, which is very popular in Thailand and in other countries, is very effective. I, from my experience, I thought that this is one of the most efficient method of concentration of mind, which will lead to insight or vipassana pavana effectively. The method taught by Luang Pho Wat Pak Nam is the combine of three subjects out of the 40 methods taught by Lord Buddha. Those three subjects are the first one is Alokakasin, that is the light object or device like this, which is the most effective method of tranquility. Secondly is recollection of Lord Buddha's virtues. Thirdly, contemplation of breathing in and out. Each of these three subjects is very effective. And when we combine these three subjects together, it becomes the most efficient method of concentration which will lead to very good, very effective insight or vipassana pavana. Now, let's begin to purify ourselves 
by acceptance of precepts of moralities in order to prevent us from bad conduct to violate the other's property or life or others to make our action and speech be nice and to help our mind become more peaceful easily to be concentrated at one point all right we are going to meditate uh, first of all let me advise you how to sit to sit in the good position uh, for those who can do but uh, if you feel uncomfortable you may change your mind or sit as a uh, position you like and you feel comfortable but uh, the right and the most effective position uh, is to sit cross-legged like this sorry having the right right legs resting upon the left the right palm is upon the left and let the right index just touch about the left thumb like this sit upright take your long breath and then relax from now on let's cut our thought from any outside objects that is detachment from everything outside take a look the sphere to see how clear the sphere is then close your eyelids tenderly imagine a sphere the proper size is about your eyeball as clear as example shown to you as diamond appearing at your nostril aperture for the lady at the left side for the gentleman at the right side your mind components which are the sphere of vision the sphere of memory the sphere of thought and the sphere of awareness to be concentrated at the center of the sphere you imagine that is you are supposed to imagine a little transparent spot equivalent to a grain of sand as the center of the sphere keep imagining the center of the sphere along with reciting the word samma arahang samma arahang samma arahang continually the word samma 
is from the word Samma Samputo, which means Lord Buddha's right enlightenment or right wisdom. The word Arahang means Lord Buddha's being far away from passion or any bad action or speech. That is Lord Buddha's purity. When you recite the word Samma Arahang, Samma Arahang, Samma Arahang, that is recollection of Lord Buddha's virtues in terms of right wisdom and purity, you bring in your mind Lord Buddha's virtue in terms of right wisdom and purity. While reciting the word Samma Arahang, Samma Arahang, Samma Arahang. Another method is to be applied along with is to observe breathing in and out which pass through the sphere mindfully over there so that your mind components be at one point at the center of the sphere. Therefore, from, from now on, you imagine the center of the sphere along with reciting the word Samma Arahang, Samma Arahang, and observing your breathing in and out together so that your mind components be calmed down and be at one point. This is the first mind stop still. Then you move mentally the sphere while your mind still be at the center of the sphere into your nostril aperture slowly and then move upward slowly to stop at your eye socket for ladies at the left side, gentlemen at the right side. Recite the word Samma Arahang, Samma Arahang, Samma Arahang at the center of the sphere. So that your mind components be well concentrated there. <clears throat> Whatever you see or you can imagine, you move slowly directly to the center of your head. Stop still there. Recite the word Samma Arahang, Samma Arahang, Samma Arahang to calm down your mind components at the center of your head. Assume that your head is as vacuum. There exists just only the sphere. Then roll up your eyeballs backward 
so that your mind components which are always wandering outside become backward and then downward you move slowly the sphere downward to stop still at your palate aperture Recite the word Samma Arahang, Samma Arahang, Samma Arahang to calm down your mind there. Then move the sphere slowly downward to stop still at your throat aperture recite the word samma arahang samma arahang samma arahang continually observe your breathing in and out which ends at the center of your body in line of your navel level and begin from that point. Move the sphere downward slowly to stop still at the center of the body in line of your navel level Recite the word Samma Arahang, Samma Arahang, Samma Arahang. And then move the sphere backward higher than the present place about one to two inches. Stop still there, namely the seventh point of the mind stop. That is the permanent place where the mind changes to good or bad mind. But We concentrate our mind components here at one point so that the mind not to grasp or to attach any outside objects which will create passion. But become stop still at one point then be released from attachment and become pure over here particularly when the mind components is perfectly concentrated until the high quality of mind is developed. The five hindrance will be removed automatically. By this reason, from now on, let us focus our attention to the center of the sphere. Imagining the center of the sphere all the time, don't pay attention to anything. Recite the word Samma Arahang, Samma Arahang, Samma Arahang continually. 
bring in your mind Lord Buddha's virtues in terms of right wisdom and purity. Keep continuing reciting the words Samma Arahang, Samma Arahang, Samma Arahang mindfully at the center of the sphere. If you cannot see the sphere clearly, you may observe your breathing in and out which pass through the sphere. But no need to follow your breathing. Just observing at the center of the sphere. Keep continuing reciting the words Samma Arahang, Samma Arahang at the center of the sphere until your mind components perfectly concentrated at the center of the body about one to two inches above your navel level then the bright and refined sphere which is your own nucleus will appear accordingly Whenever you see the real sphere, which is very bright and refined and very pure, no need to recite the word Samma Arahang. Just focus your attention to the center of the bright and refined spheres. Go on with this procedure. Recite the word Samma Arahang, Samma Arahang, Samma Arahang continually. Don't pay attention to anything. If you cannot see the sphere clearly, observe your breathing in and out, which pass through the sphere so that you can see the sphere clearly. When you see the sphere clearly, clearly already no need to observe breathing just keep continuing imagining the center of the sphere or resting your mind at the center of the center of the sphere along with reciting the words Samma Arahang Samma Arahang continually until your mind components stop still then the very bright and refined spheres will appear over there then you just rest your mind at the center of the center of the bright and refined sphere you will find your mind is peacefully happy you never met before go on with this procedure
and as bright as daylight. Keep continuing reciting the word Samma Arahang, Samma Arahang, Samma Arahang at the center of the sphere, at the center of the body, about an inch above your navel level. Continually, don't pay attention to anything. When your mind components be properly concentrated at the center of the body, there will appear your own refined sphere, which is very bright and very pure. Appearing at the center of the body, that means your mind be purified from hindrance and the high quality of your mind are developed in order to remove five hindrance at the first absorption level. Whenever you see the bright and refined sphere, just forget about reciting the word Samma Arahang, Samma Arahang. Just rest your mind at the center of the sphere tenderly. When your mind components perfectly concentrated, the center will expand itself. Then there will appear more refined and brighter spheres accordingly. You just rest your mind at the center of the center of the brighter and purer sphere until you reach the brightest and the most refined one. Stop still there at the center of the center until your mind components be perfectly concentrated at the most refined one. The center expands itself. Then there will appear your own refined human body, its internal refined body. Looks like you yourself, but transparent and looks really nicer than the crude body in sitting cross leg position as you are. Somebody might see Dhammakaya. Looks very like transparent Buddha statue in sitting position. Very pure, very refined, and radius. Whatever refined body you see, you become that refined body right away. Forget about the crude body. Assume that you are the, the refined body so that your mind components properly concentrated at the center of the sphere, at the center of the refined body. When your mind stops still at the center of the center of the refined body, you will find very light, very pure, peaceful, and very happy. You still go on with the same procedure, that is, stop still at the center of the center of that refined body. 
When your mind components perfectly concentrated there, the center expands itself. The more refined body looks nicer than the former one, the present one. More radius, larger than before, will appear accordingly one by one. Whenever you see the larger refined body, nicer, more refined and purer body appearing, you become that one right away. Focus your attention to the center of the sphere at the center of the refined body until the whole body and the sphere are most refined. Go on with this procedure. One by one, refined body until you reach or you see Dhammakaya of which the standard size is about 9 meters in height and width. Very transparent and radius. Look similar to Buddha statue with the lotus upon the tip. Whenever you see that, you become Dhammakaya. Detach your whole feeling from the cruder body or the former or the present body to become Dhammakaya. Focus your attention to the center of the sphere of which the diameter is equivalent to the height and the width of Dhammakaya. This is different from the former body Stop still there at the center of the center. Make your feeling that you are Dhammakaya until the whole Dhammakaya and the sphere are most refined. You will find the most peaceful and happy you never met before. At that state of mind, you can contemplate, you may, you should contemplate physical body, feelings, mental functions, and other tamma in order to obtain the right wisdom. All right, go on with this procedure. For those who haven't seen the sphere yet, Keep continuing reciting the word Samma Arahang, Samma Arahang, Samma Arahang at the center of the sphere continually until your mind components perfectly concentrated at the center of the body. You see the bright and refined sphere. Then you stop still there at the center of the center. Go on with the same procedure for another moment.
be mindful all the time. Stop still at the center of the center of the sphere at the center of the body. until the whole body and the sphere are most refined. That means your mind be purified. Before we have a rest, let's all of us wish that we appreciate virtues of triple gems which are Lord Buddha, Lord Buddha's teachings and noble disciples and make a wish that Lord Buddha bless all of us to lead our peaceful, happy life without any problems, sufferings, forever. Let's extend our loving kindness to all world beings. and transfer our merits collected from the past up to the present to all world beings to have the same peaceful and happy life. You may open your eyes slowly while your mind still be at the center of the sphere, at the center of the body. And change your position to receive blessing. Sub. เพพุทธาพระปัตตาปัจเจกานันจะยังพลังอะระหันตานันจะเตเชนะรักขังพันธามิสัพโสเตอัตลัตตาสุขิตาวิรุณหาพุทธศาสเนอะโรคาสุขิตาโหทะสหสัพเพหิยาติภิภวะตุสัพพมังคลังรักขันตุสัพเทวตาสัพพุทธานุภาเวนะสัพพธรรมานุภาเวนะสัพสังขานุภาเวนะสัทธาสูตรีพระวันตุเต so uh, prostrate to that direction to Lord Buddha's virtues okay อะระหังสัมมาสัมพุทโธภะคะวายพุทธังภะควันตังอภิวาเทมิสวะคาโตภะควัตตาธรรมโมธรรมังนมัสสามิสุปฏิปันโนภะควัตโตสาวกสังโฆสังขังนามามีอยู่อาวิลคัมเอ่อ before we have rest first of all เอ่อ just now เอ่อ I feel uncomfortable to prostrate so that's why I just sit so sorry I have to sit Uh, in uh, this position, rather than to prostrate 
prostate because uh, it's inconvenient to do so for me. Uh, please bear in mind that concentration of mind is very useful for all, particularly to purify one's mind from the hindrance. When our mind be clear, we can think just only the right thing, not to be dominated by any defilements. When our mind is peaceful and pure, therefore this meditation method tranquility level is to help any person who practice it to become peaceful to think properly to act to speak properly without any passion or defilements if the individuals become more and more peaceful how about the world people become more peaceful not only concentration of mind but accept and practice at least five precepts of moralities will help the world peaceful the world will become more and more peaceful if the world individuals practice uh, with these five precepts. Therefore, meditation based on precepts of moralities, acceptance and practice will help individual and society, community, country, and world be more and more peaceful and can help to solve many problems, serious problems in the world. Like uh, at the present time, we are aware about AIDS disease. Just individual accept and practice these five precepts of moralities. One is refrain from killing living thing, human being, animals, refrain from theft, refrain from adultery, refrain from telling a lie, refrain from taking any intoxicant. You may imagine how can such a problems occur to the society. You don't have to spend much money to do anything to do it. You just campaign the people to do good, to refrain from bad conduct, to meditate. That's all. Individual become more and more peaceful and also the world people.
as a whole will become more peaceful and and we will know after that with the right wisdom that instead of to spend the money with a very big very large budget for the nonsense activities like war weapons if individual become peaceful and develop more and more right wisdom will help the world more peaceful no need to spend the money for such a things we can use all of those budget to develop the country to develop the world people better lives so that's it so this practice meditation tranquility and insight based on acceptance and practice of five precepts at least of moralities will help the world peace and bring in prosperity to the world people on the right way so i would like to introduce to all of you about this dhamma practice all can practice all walk of life with any religion with all religions no problem at all all right so thank you everybody for listening and see you next time